My name is Scott Scholl. I have cerebral palsy. I'm, I'm not totally different from the rest of you. I'm pretty normal like the next person is. I was born premature, three months earlier. So as like a result of a uh, premature birth, uh, I was born with a, apparently with a, a few seconds lack of oxygen to, to my brain, which causes a uh, cerebral palsy, or CP. But I also was born with, with uh, hearing impairment, which is also um, a challenge for me as well. And, and also I can't see my right eye. So I have all those straight from, from the time I was born. I have the independent life in, in my own apartment and, and I enjoy having my own lifestyle and got a feel doing something with, with volunteer work and I enjoy doing it and I, I feel so good about being independent. I don't have to depend on people who hold up for help. My daily uh, activity is, uh, is very typical, just like any other normal person would do. Um, Monday to Thursday, I usually get up uh, between 7 and 7.30, get ready to, to, to go to volunteer work at the FOGA for a plan of disabled adults and children. I work from 10 to 4, and uh, like I do what, what we call the, uh, putting the uh, instruction manual on the uh, many different equipment that folks have, whether it's wheelchair, power chair, scooter, rollator, anything. So that people will know how to use it in a written, uh, type written form. Scott is a, is a huge asset to our team. We have a lot of people that we serve with disabilities that end up volunteering or being a part of our team. And Scott is really, wonderful. He fits right in. He's always on task. He's willing to learn new things. And, uh, you know, he's really, really a great guy. Scott is, Scott is terrific because he really is super smart, number one, you know, and he's, he, he really can learn any material that you give him really quickly. We asked individuals who had some type of a physical disability if they would tell their story and write a blog. And so Scott volunteered. He was one of our first people that volunteered to do it, uh, which was great because he kind of set the bar. He wrote an awesome blog, told his life story basically, and how much he was able to just function in society as a person who had a disability. He sent his blog out to everyone within his network and was able to raise money for FODAC, uh, bring attention to the needs that we had here and how much we really needed funding. So it was awesome. Um, he finished the campaign extremely successful. He was one of our highest fundraisers for the campaign. It was great. He was a great help. I have a long history of volunteer work. Uh, it's not checked for the photograph, but I also work for different 
churches uh, and different organizations that, that they asked me to come and help them. I've known Scott Schultz for almost 20 years, and during that time I have seen him volunteer for half a dozen different organizations doing different things, but I can honestly say that if you don't know Scott, you are missing out because he really is an intellectual that you can talk to about most anything. He is a historian in particular. I mean, he has the knowledge of a, of a history professor in college. And he also, he just brings a sense of encouragement, a sense of inspiration uh, to the equation. I mean, just being around him and seeing how uh, much he is a person that perseveres in life is just a joy to be around. Toward the end of the week, um, usually on Friday, I do the laundry. Um, so I go over to, to, to uh, uh, apartment main building to where the washer and dryer are located. So I get the laundry and uh, I fold clothes, I'll put the clothes up in the closet and I also do pretty normal errands, kind of like washing dishes. Yeah, and every now and then, if, uh, um, I, I, like, I like to swim uh, and uh, to kind of like feel good for my muscle. But swimming is good, is good for my muscle because it, it, it helps uh, relax my muscle, it keep my muscle in motion. Now, the people that, that never met me or don't know me in a, in a personal way will be, will be surprised by, um, by, by my in, intelligence and the way I communicate to them and the way I facing challenges and not be afraid. It, it's important to, for me to have a full-time job because I feel that I'm doing something. I feel that I'm making a accomplishment and I'm um, giving some, something of myself back to the community, back to the people that helped me along the way. I would just say that to the people that, that may their assumption that people with disability can't work, they're just judging the the book by the cover. They haven't read the book. They need to open up and ask questions. And that's what I strongly encourage people to ask questions to people with disabilities. Get to know them. Not be afraid of them. To understand and knowing that we can work together and give the community a great service. Okay, anything else you want to add? Um, I think that covered pretty much. I think that kind of covers it.